Yeah, please welcome Mariano Ines. Oh, well, it's you, it's you who deserve the applause for staying, for staying here all those hours and at the end. So uh, I applaud myself. I, uh, let's. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your kind patience. And I'm um, completely sorry for the using of English. I hope that's, that would not bother you, but I regret not speaking German. Sorry, I, I couldn't learn. But you're, wor you're working on it, right? I am, I am, I am. I, I bought a small, look, listen, I, I do have it here. It may be of some help for, for the situation. They tell me this is a classic edition here. Right? Isn't it? So what? If you want me. Really? Well, no problem. <laughs> I'll take them. Well, how do we do this? Um, because these people may have may have questions. Else yeah. to do or <laughs> their lives. They're, they're, they come. Um, well. Maybe we we could start, and I think it could be boring for you because you have. I probably do it every time. No, I don't bore. I, I don't. <laughs> bo the boring word does not exist okay. in my. <laughs> you, you sh I think you should tell us how how it all started, because ah. I know that uh, you it kind of started when you met or uh, has have seen um, like one play by the four women, but and it has yes. th something to do with the structure you're painting at the beginning. But yeah. maybe you can tell like the story from the beginning. <coughs> well, let me see. Let me see. Um, I would, uh, I don't know if you know that the theater, independent theater in Buenos Aires is uh, quite particular. It's quite, uh, how, to, how, how to say it, quite unique, I would say. Um, why is it unique? I would say that for example, in every big city, you have, I don't know how many, 15 good plays to see. That's a lot, no? Well, in, in Buenos Aires, you would have 300 plays to see. And of, uh, of those, I would say 80 are good which is a, an, extra, an, an, an extraordinary uh, per, per percentage, right, of, of, the, of them. And 10 are among the best, I would say, which is completely unique. So I didn't know that. Because you, you know, perhaps you know that we, people who work in motion pictures and people who work in theater, have some kind of ancestral rivality, right? We 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 generally don't get get along. It's like cats and dogs, or well, you can find your own options, you see. But so, I think I think I know where where that this uh, this rivalry comes from, and it is from the time when people make their own shorts, you see, because we you work with your friends in the technical aspects, but you don't you have to call actors which are completely unknown to you, completely strange and demanding, so one uh, distrusts the other so. And, and they behave in different ways. Well, it, this is this ancient rivalry. But in a moment, because of things that are not included in your question, so I won't get into it, uh, I, I had to jump to the other side of the, of the boundary, right? To go to the other side of the, uh, to go to the, to the part of actors. And I had been always, uh, like 
not too close to my fellow Argentine filmmakers. I was so uh, my group, not only me, but my group, the four of us, uh, ha have always been quite critical with the way things are done in Argentine cinema. So when we, when I saw some place of independent theater in Buenos Aires, I discovered that my brothers were not in the film side of the border, but in the theater side. That people were making things we wanted to make them, and they were doing them with extreme uh, talent, and with extreme courage, and with extreme wit, and with extreme many things. And so I, I, dis I, I thought, I noticed that I had to learn my task again from the very beginning in the production aspect and in the storytelling or the narration aspect. So I did. And I started going to theater instead of going to see the premieres of the people of cinema. So I changed the side, like the sesse fly. And in this process, well, we would uh, discover uh, our other side, our uh, like uh, what how's the thing the 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 feminists don't like this this uh, the half in 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 Spanish we we say the media naranja that would be the half. Apple, but I don't know if that expression exists. In, uh, our feminists are, are quite against that idea of being completed by the other side. Well, let's be a little bit uh, conservative. Like the other side of, of, how do you say that? Or you don't have that concept that, yeah. eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Well, it's always excellent to have uh, a companion from from our own country. So, well, that it's a little bit. I know it's completely conservative, but it's it's we can use that for the story. We found our our right in these four uh, gorgeous. And, uh, and gorgeous in every sense, and and uh, brave women. And the point is, when 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 I saw their work for the first time, I I thought that they were they had the same concerns, the same uh, interests, you, you may say the same obsessions that I had. Those of fiction, she were investigating into fiction deeply and in a playful way and with a sense of humor and with uh, some kind of, of lightness and, and grace. But w there was something else that ended by conquering completely my, my whole structure, that it was that we also try to, to invent and to investigate and to explore into fiction, you know. But the point is that they did, we, we did it of mostly with our minds. We did it in, a, in an intellectual way. And these women were doing it with their own body, you know. They were exploring fiction, but involving their own body in it, in that exploration. So they were not only uh, artists, but also fighters, in a way. They were like boxers fighting for fiction. I don't quite heroines. So we fell, or I fell, for those heroines. And then we, uh, we, we, we became friends. And I, was, I, I started thinking, well, how may I invent a device for letting these people to shine, right? 
And well, I thought uh, for some years, as, since I was making another picture and everything, but because all the time I was thinking of stories that would suit them, that would be f interesting or amusing or funny for them to perform. But each one of those stories was wasn't as, as powerful as they were. So I, I I I I thought I got the picture when I th when I discovered that I did not have to do many, but one that would be many. One that would include every possible picture with them. So I I thought that that was something to be done, and so I proposed that for the four of them I did draw the, the arrow thing that you may have seen a couple of times. And I said, well, well what I want to do is this, and the, the four up would be the beginnings, the circle, and one ending. I draw that for the first time. And I said, and you are going to be in every part. So you're going to do uh, an, uh, a, you know, six what do you think? Yeah, they, they accept it, uh, yeah, and we did the thing, as you have seen. So it was not a spider in the beginning? No. No, <laughs> no I don't know. No, at, at the beginning it, it was not a spider, and it was always a, a flower. But perhaps there was a spider. We see the, the, the spider has many different uh, meanings in this picture. It's also an organization of wicked women that control people's mind or men's mind. So perhaps that was in at the beginning. So I'm just describing uh, how, uh, how fool I was by falling into this spell, you know, if you know what I mean. You know, uh, uh, they, uh, they, were, they were asking me today, uh, him or, or his friend, if I was thinking of something new. And I told them that I was starting to think of something new, and perhaps I I, I spoiled a, a question that you were thinking of making. Sorry, well I, I answered it, but the point is that I I, I, I can go. I on. started <laughs> I started thinking of something, and and I said, well, so we, we can do. I'm, I, there are things that I'm not going to say, but then I said, well, and why not? Can be some kind of a conspiration and and some group or secret society trying to get to do this. And I was so happy with this idea. Some, some group of wicked and, 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 and mean people like scheming in the dark that would... I said, well, that's a good one. <laughs> and then I thought for the first time, Clara, in every part of this picture is that. <laughs> the bad that appear in a moment and we're going, come on, sorry. It's not that I'm not going to do it, but one has not so many ideas. It's terrible, you know. It happens to be that you, you think you have many ideas and 14 hours and many genres and everything. It's all the same. <laughs> it's a, a new one coming with another conspiracy. Well, Jesus. Well... What? <laughs> what do you um, maybe you can also talk about like the production because it was like fourteen years or no or ten. ten 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 years uh, no, in no fourteen th hours but ten years and I think it seems so that um, the beginning is like technically different than, yeah. than <laughs> the end yeah. for example and did you shoot like episode by episode or did you like jump from one to another episode by episode and uh, not, not even shoot not not, not only shoot but even think. So uh, it was true, the, the, the first thing was, the first episode was shot with a, with a mini DV camera. Uh, t today was defined by someone like those 2,000 things of, yeah, one of those 2,000 thing was shot with that, and th th that's what we had. That's why w the, the, it looks different in many ways, not only the, the, what would be the quality of imager, but also some some language. You see, we, we, we came from the previous picture we have done, which is called Historias Extraordinarias, Extraordinary Stories, and we used the same Mini DV 2000 thing, and so, so it, it, it was video, right? It was video. 
to da fe, right? uh, extremely video. So the problem with video, if some of you have ever worked with that, is the depth field. Uh, uh, you don't have that. You don't. You you can't. You 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 have like it, it's like a TV show. You know, everything is in focus. It's disgusting. So to correct that, you have to get away from the object and and film it with a tele with a with a long uh, lens. So that's why you have all these big faces in the first part. And as we get other cameras, we started going back and approaching a, a normal thing. But at the beginning, we have all these extremely, extremely close-ups because it, it was the camera we had. But yeah, I, uh, I, it, it wasn't only that we had uh, one thing after the other, but we uh, 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 the, the imagining the picture would be one thing after the other we had some idea of course we had i i, I had the idea of the mummies i had the mummies almost ready in the, in the moment but then the the, the pimpinela the, the the moment of the singers and the scorpions and the, the, the romantic thing will appeared in the middle of the after the doing the mummy in, in fact and so and then, of course, I knew that there was something that to be of, of action, but I, I discovered the spy idea and the Cold War after Pimpinela and then and, and, and the fourth part when I, when, when at the beginning the, the, the narrator says, "I don't know in this precise moment what the four is going to be about." I, it was true. <laughs> I did not know in that moment what, what I was going to do with that part. I knew that it would be something with trees, but I mean, it's actually hard to describe what what happens in there. So, yeah, I think I don't know is a pretty but good well, description. If you, if you were asked, <laughs> what, what what is it about? I, you know, you don't know. It's a trees, <laughs> witches, perhaps. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it's hard to describe. And then w there, but but the true, the true uh, script screenplay wasn't written until the very moment. Right. So. And and that was something important because uh, you had, uh, of course, when I thought when I noticed that it was going to be a long process and it was going to to, to spend a lot of time, perhaps I, I never thought of ten years, but we thought in uh, in terms of years. O of course, the 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 the, the, the writing would be conditioned by the relationship with me with the play uh, and the players with the players themselves with the players with their own life of course those things would appear if you make a picture all along well it can be or not there, there are experiments that had been done with time that don't reflect those things but I thought that the, 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 the interesting thing about the picture was to see the traces of time and the traces of relationship between uh, the people and and, uh, and the director well that part of it that you are seeing a, a group of, of of stories, but you're seeing the l some some portion of life of people, and that, that's what gets it uh, more than a con uh, series of games, right? You're you're there's some part of that lively stuff that gets into into the thing. So no, I I had to wait to see how how we were to write, for example, and there are some secret punishments and some secret revenges from them to me and from me to them and uh, specific and, and, and some secret uh, tender gestures that perhaps no one would notice. There's a question, yes. Uh, do you want me to... to, to but uh, you, s you said you had to wait, but perhaps you had to live with them. Of course. And that it's not waiting, but living and... Swimming inside. It's, uh, that's it. No, when I said wait, I, I was talking about I, I would not, uh, I could not write uh, before living. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, I, I couldn't guess and how was going to be the thing, you know. And I think you, it's uh, like a... Swimming. Swimming 
inside and it's and the this drawing i see the f like a neptune fork mm -hmm. also in this four and the round and and the pointing back yes that oh. you are going to fish and to to see <laughs> what happens like that ah you 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 for for you it's a, it's a fishing tool yeah <laughs> good like the like like Nep neptune yes like neptune. But neptune is three yes so we have one okay. more one okay. one we and the and and I want to four, but ask I like the fork thing. In, yes, yes. And four. in the fifth, uh, in the dump, uh, uh, the, 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 the mute the film where, um, you had the sound of movies of Marcel Carnet, or what no? It's the uh, it? it's the picture. It's uh, it's the, the it's remaking. Is, uh, uh, you see, there's a moment uh, yes. in 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 okay. uh, uh, in Parti de Campagne the, uh, yes. from Renoir, where oh, wow. it's suggested a sexual situation and the passing of time, and we did it with uh, some planes, as you have seen, but the sound was from that same part of the of the picture, of the it's, it's like we we took the but. Perhaps we should not be quite clear about this because we didn't have the, the proper papers of, of those. So maybe the Jean Renoir uh, hairs can come and, and take us to jail. Or maybe <laughs> you, you, they may take you to jail too because of seeing that. Listen, but there was something interesting. Now you mentioned the diving thing and waiting. And it's something that that shows that pictures are somehow some magically wise. Not the people that make those pictures, but the pictures themselves. You know. Of course, when, what we knew from the very beginning was that the the end would have to be captives coming back from the from the desert. We knew that it's quite a subject in Argentine literature. There are many uh, stories. The one quite known, like one of our landmarks of our literature, but many uh, tales and stories and autobiographical things about captives coming back from the Indians. So we knew that. And I knew that, that there was going to be, it had to be a moment where them should be naked. There would, there should be. A, and then the, them would uh, mock or tease uh, themselves. Uh, surely when we uh, get to the naked scene, we're going to be many of uh, all of us pregnant. Ha ha ha, they said that. But uh, I, I mean, eight years before, uh, I, I don't know, eight years before having, uh, doing the scene. So those eight years passed and, uh, and three or four months before making the picture, the, 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 that, that scene, the, 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 the bath scene, we would receive one call of, of, of Valeria saying, bueno, estoy embarazada. Wow. Great, well, Jesus. And I thought, well, so it's three months, you will. And three days after that, we did our own test. And the other one was pregnant too. Three days. <laughs> and the kids would, would be born, the children would be born with four days difference. Come on, so it's, it's, who's, who's the father of those? I don't know, perhaps it's a flower, you know, that perhaps <laughs> they have been, it's uh, some kind of a, of a vegetable, yeah, I guess it's, uh, they're like the pol polonized, I don't know, perhaps I should look at this, but the, the, the <laughs> vegetable things, but yes, I'm a, who's the father of those? I don't know, but I'm, I have serious doubts about my own paternity, you see. Well, uh, but it it's, it's, isn't quite impressive. No, 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 no. I'm not. <laughs> but isn't quite impressive that they they have uh, get pregnant 
for the because of the picture, you know, it's incredible. <laughs> I don't know. Mariana, I think there's a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Please. Ich kann weder richtig Englisch noch richtig Spanisch, nur ein bisschen. Soll ich Französisch reden oder Deutsch und sie übersetzen? Whatever you eine, eine vage Frage, nach dem, was er erzählt hat und nach dem, was ich Englisch verstanden habe, war also sozusagen die vierte Episode, der Anfang, der Streit mit den vier Hauptdarstellerinnen in den schönen Kostümen war sozusagen ähm, fast dokumentarisch. Mit viel Humor, meine ich. Das ist die vage Frage und dann kommt noch eine präzise. He has one vague uh, question, like he's not really sure about. Vague. Uh -huh. uh, it's about the fourth episode. Yeah. And uh, he asks if the beginning where you have an argument with the four actresses, if it's kind of documentary but with a humoristic side or pure fiction. Do you mean if, if, if uh, it was... Uh Yes, 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 I, I understand. But do, do, do you mean if, if it was uh, did with, uh, like with a s hidden camera or something like that? No, I no, see. No, I know, I know, I know, no. <laughs> no, it was, no, it was uh, I don't know, for, uh, it, it, it was like some kind of exorcism, I think. Okay. To liberate you. Not me. Not me. <laughs> not me. No, no. It was not me who... To liberate to uh, the productive. Exorcide. No, yeah, perhaps. I don't know. It was... Uh, but, you know, to be honest, it may have, it may have been a kind of exorcistic thing because it never happened. That thing never happened. It, I, 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 it, it, it was... The, the funny thing was the shooting of this, uh, of this scene because... The, the true situation I, I remember the, there was no there was no no sound there was some sound problem so we had to to delay the, the shooting for another day and I was there was different it, there was a different th thing you see we, we had been shooting for many years we, we were very very friends and one of them is my wife and um, I love all the, the four of them, so we know each other. But there was, uh, as you have seen, another actress, another player, the, 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 she who plays the, the bad producer, right? Mm -hmm. So that was the <coughs> first time I would work with her. And in a moment, something happened, some some kind of a, of a problem with the mic, and and we wouldn't, and we, we, it, it became obvious that we were not going to to do the scene. So I started screaming like like a, a crazy assassin. I said, "La puta madre!" And, we were, and, 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 and the camera would react against me. So we started yelling, and the, 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 this actress that was for the first time there like became pale, like saying, <laughs> "Are they going to actually kill themselves?" <laughs> and in the other way, the the, the girls, the, the 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 four players were like that ah, no, they didn't no, not, not, not a single move because of that because they knew us you know they were like laughing as ah, well, you, you see they were so yes, I so, yeah. so, <laughs> so used to the war and the bombs that they, they were like those militaries that are among the bombs drinking their tea and bombs would fall and it would, well, was like that and the other was completely terrorized so it was the opposite you know it was uh, like no, we, we knew each other and we would scream and cry and but we were uh, everything was fine. So perhaps because of that fighting scene uh, we did not have our own fighting scenes uh, that that much. So perhaps it was an exorcism in a way. You know. Sagen Sie mal auf Englisch, ich kann es nicht übersetzen, da ist ein guter Mediator, er lässt das lieber im Film spielen, bevor es reell passiert. Den Streit. Spiel, que es juego cinematográfico, ¿verdad? No. Bueno, dale, perdón. Sorry, sorry. Uh, he's like congratulating uh, on you on, on being a good mediator between... Thank so you, thank you, thank you for your... Instead of like acting it out in reality, you show it in a film before it actually happens. Yes, that's it, that's it. Well, thank you, thank you. Jetzt kommt die einfache Frage. Okay, he has another one and it's a simple um, question. Okay. 
Ähm, da müssen Sie mir helfen. Es gab diesen wunderbaren Film von dem Tom Taika zusammen mit diesen beiden Geschwistern, sage ich, von Matrix. Ähm, aber ich habe den Titel vergessen. Irgendwas mit Wolkenquintett oder sowas. Ha? Matrix. Cloud Atlas, okay, so heißt dieses Stück. Und da ist auch, das ist ja auch ein Episodenfilm und da gibt es auch in dem, in dem England der 30er Jahre ein Paar, ein homosexuelles. Und der eine schreibt immer Briefe auch an Smith. Und mir kam da sofort bekannt vor der Tonfall oder so, ob er das da aufgenommen hat. Das wäre Zufall, kann sein. Kann das aber sein. Das wollte, so interessiert mich simple. einfach. Das war die einfache, das war die simple Frage. <lacht> You thought that he said that it was going to be a simple question. And yes. It doesn't seem to be. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank what, you. What is it? So it's about the movie Cloud Atlas from Tom Tukwa and the Wachowski brothers, sisters. Did you see it? or? What's the name? Cloud Atlas. <laughs> okay. Cloud Atlas. It's like a, an ah, not so simple. <laughs> episodic film. No. I think But that's... But it was cloud like a cloud. <laughs> I don't But what's it, it, it's a I don't understand. No, it's the, a history the, is between the junction two, of the two, two friends. It's a name. Uh, there's no. an episode in the film which yeah. relates to something you did, but if you don't know the film, then the question Wh what has is been it? answered. What is it? I think there's someone in old England. There are two persons, two two guys. They're homosexual in the 1930 years, so it's forbidden, and they are writing letters. And he writes also um, letters in the f in the same um, oh, menu, no. like um, you say that that gato is uh, yeah. homosexual. No, 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 no. It's, it's it's only it's only I I wanted to know probably, if you probably. saw the film. No, you no, you I, know I, about a lot of French films. I know now. No, no, maybe. No, but that is French. The Atlas thing is French. Mm. No, it's German. German, German American. German American. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I I feel I don't feel it like a personal thing about. Against German, <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry, so I'm sorry. I'm going to get it, but no. perhaps in the, in the in the shop of the maybe, the but I don't think so. N What? He's asking for DVDs of your movie. They have it in in, in France. They they have no Blu-ray, Blu-ray in France. They in the Fnac thing. You see, you can get it by 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 the mail. You you. Ah, vous parlez français. <laughs> so, très bien. Okay, okay, so there's um, another one. Uh, let's let's. Yeah, I wanted to ask about your relationship to literature in general and to uh, maybe Latin American fantastic literature in particular, because um, most uh, critics. I try to interpret La Flore in relation to film history and to play... To what, sorry? Uh, to film history, film like uh, yeah. it's a play with film genres and so on. But my impression was that it's it's far more relating like to literature and um, with the uh, narration in uh, episode mm -hmm. three and four. It's... Uh, so steeped in literature, I would say. Well, the, the La Flor has some moments w that uh, uh, it it gets into literature into into literature again. But at the beginning, I think it's quite cinematic. I, it's quite the, the references are quite the two episodes. I, I think uh, the, the they have quite uh, literary references. No, uh, cinematic references. Uh, Hitchcock mainly. It's it's trying to copy. The, uh, the Hitchcock style in a in a in an obvious way, right? Um, in mini DV, that's a difference. But uh, of course, it gets more and more into literature. I, I my relationship is uh, is that is such of a some somebody ha who has uh, lived literature since ever. Because my wife, my wife. Oh, come on, let's. That, does anybody? work as a psychiatrist here or an RSS. my father <laughs> <laughs> well there you go my father was a writer and a poet and we lived all the time uh, among books and I might say that I, I kind of you know, like uh, uh, 
the, the son of a football player who is probably good with foot, at football because he has lived among or, or I know the polo players that are it's a family thing because they start riding horses since the very since they are two years old well I had such an experience with books you know so I I, I, I don't have a a problem with that so that it's something that I use I think I, I, I it's like a tool it's not that I uh, that I am uh, contributing to literature I don't think so I think that I am uh, someone from cinema but uh, since I have these uh, tradi literary tradition I think I just use it for the images to exist so I rob to things that I know uh, quite a lot. For example, uh, Argentine uh, or uh, the, the fantastic literature of the Rio de la Plata, uh, to be honest. More than because you say South American fantastic literature, and I think that, that there are many traditions, and I would belong in the fantastic side, in the fantastic branch, to the one of the Rio de la Plata, mostly that, that uh, is originated in Borges. And it's continued by in cinema by Hugo Santiago, whom I consider my master in a way, if you can say that. But uh, I think my, uh, his masterhood comes from robbing from literature and taking to cinema, of course. So it's not that I, I, I feel myself uh, as some, someone that is more. Uh, concerned by the cinema, uh, I don't know, future than uh, that of the literature, but I come from there, it's my, my country of origin, so that's why I use that uh, influences or, or background that I have and that, in a way, facility, or facility in English means something else, uh, that easiness with, uh, with uh, words that I had since ever because I've lived with words all the time and among books and everything. So I, I, I would uh, support the cinematic side to, to answer your question, not the, uh, the writer side. And it's not my people. Well, you understand. Yeah, they are my people. I'm saying things that I'm not quite sure, but well, so please take it. Uh, and, uh, and, and Let's. Sí, yo tengo una pregunta también. Eh, sí. Lo que te quería preguntar es, eh, lo que me parece es que la flor dibuja un, un arco, ¿no? Entre el cine total, como se lo ve en el segundo episodio, por ejemplo. Eh, ¿Cuál es paradigmáticamente el, el episodio 2 es, eh, es la película para... que es eh, un no querés, musical, me da, es un me da, cine me da no sé romance qué, me da no sé qué la gente que no que por ahí, um, vos decís que habla y, y, lo hago en alemán también ah, ich werde ah, die Frage auf Spanisch stellen und auf Deutsch leider ist mein Perdón, Englisch no, no, und diese me, me Wort sei sehr schlecht gesehen ich stelle die Frage erstmal auf Spanisch und dann gleich auf Deutsch um, eso decía que me, me, me entre pareció el cine entender total, que hay entre el cine total eh, la, no sé como, como una cosa muy wagneriana así de, de contarlo todo de todos los ¿Cómo modos como es el, el, el coso de Wagner cómo se llama el, la, el, la... el Gesamtwerk no la obra total es un, de Wagner no es porque Sam, es musical es? película de romance el ah. mito popular, eh, sí. el kitsch, eh, en fin, eh, pero también la cantidad de referencias a la historia y a la literatura, por lo menos argentina, ¿no? como una especie de, de pastiche eh, eh, increíble, ¿no? que, que re realmente da como forma algo, digamos, uno como espectador fue llevado y traído por todas las posibles sensaciones y emociones que que lo, lo atraviesan a uno en la historia del cine, ¿no? En, todo en un concentrado, como en un precipitado de una película. Eso para mí fue el episodio 2. Pero bueno, este, ahora llegamos a este episodio 6, donde para mí el cine... Con la, con la traducción. De, de, donde para mí el cine se disuelve, donde ya no es casi cine. Este último episodio, yo, digamos, me pregunto dónde está la narración cinematográfica. Más bien me parece que es la ilustración de un texto literario o de una idea literaria, ¿no? Lo vi más como un, eh, como un libro-álbum, ¿no? Eh, eso te quería preguntar. ¿Cuál es, 
¿cuál es tu idea? ¿Cuál fue tu idea? Más allá de este amor por estas cuatro actrices que fueron la excusa, ¿no? Para, para no. idear todas estas películas, ¿no? ¿No fue este amor? Más bien, te diría... Al, al... Yes. <risa> Yes, okay. Also meine Frage ist, äh, mein, mein Eindruck ist, dass er ähm, einen Bogen äh, gemalt hat, gezeichnet hat, zwischen dem, zum Beispiel dem, mit dem, zwischen dem, dem ähm, absoluten und äh, äh, kompletten äh, Film wie, wie Wagner, so wie ein Gesam Gesamtmeisterwerk, wie im, äh, Episode, äh, wie, wie im zweiten Kapitel, wo wir äh, ganz viele äh, verschiedene äh, Filmgenres haben, aber auch komplett viele Referenzen und Intertexten, äh, Be ähm, Bezüge und Referenzen auf die äh, argentinische Literatur, Geschichte und auf die argentinische äh, Geschichte auch der Militärdiktatur, zum Beispiel der Gewalt ähm, und wir als Zuschauer ähm, wirklich in, in zwei Stunden eine Gesamtbreite an Emotionen erlebt haben, als ob wir wirklich 20 Filme gesehen hätten und nicht nur einen. Und dann kommen wir hier an, in dem letzten Kapitel, wo für mich kein Kino mehr stattgefunden hat. Es war kein Film mehr. Das war für mich mehr wie ein wie die, wie, wie, wie die Illustration, wie, wie die, 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 die eine, es war zwar noch eine Bildsprache, aber es war eher die Begleitung von, von der Literatur. Also das ist, also ist eine Frage, die ich beziehe auf, auf die letzte Frage. Jemand hat hier hinten gefragt, was ist sein Bezug zur Literatur? Und meine Frage ist, ähm, kurz rum, was, was wollte er eigentlich? mit dem Ganzen. Was war de, seine Idee dahinter, unabhängig von dieser ersten Liebe, die er für diese vier Frauen hatte und diese Ausrede äh, quasi, der gefunden hat, um äh, ihnen was zu schenken oder sie glänzen zu lassen. Was war die Idee dahinter? Für mich ist es so wie ein Widerspruch zwischen dem zweiten und diesem letzten Kapitel. Bueno. Äh, der Episode 2, der, 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 Musi der Musical- diese romantische Beziehung, ähm, die auch, ähm, es waren zwei Handlungsstränge, ne? es war die erste Handlungsstrang, war ähm, diese Liebesbeziehung, diese Musikbeziehung äh, äh, im Rahmen der Musik, der, der zwei Künstler und diese, der zweite Handlungsstrang war die Gewalt. In dem zweiten Kapitel, äh, an den Referenzen an die Repression und an die Violenz, Ah, eh, vos decís en la, en la parte de los malos. Claro, porque son dos películas en una, además. Sí. Es, son ah, dos, nunca eh, pensé en la dictadura militar. Ah, Mariano, por favor. Ah, sorry. En no, pero so, esto es algo uh, en in, in between. Es no lo que quiero. Pero... Hay un clima amenazante, ah, una, ah, una, eh, es terriblemente amenazante. Englisch, Englisch. Es war sehr no, bedrohend. Der zweite Kapitel, er sagt, er talk. hat nichts mit der Militärdiktatur zu tun, aber es war sehr bedrohend. No, no dictadura. Bueno. What are they saying? Right now they are speaking. Listen, uh, the point is, <laughs> they are, they are, they didn't like something. Listen, the, the, the about the, the, como se llama, the, the sixth episode. It's interesting, the idea of illustration. Because of the fact that the, text was written after the images were taken. So it was the other way, what, which was illustrating what the pictures would uh, suggest was the text, not the opposite. So we first did, it's, it's like writing a, a something for a picture. It's, it, in, in that sense, it's illustrating. It's, it's, it's opposite. It's not that we had that text and we went to shoot like, like the old silent pictures uh, from the very beginning of cinema, the, the, the very uh, the, 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 the text we, we have, for example, uh, Madame Bovary, and, and, and then we would have the, the text and we would shoot images of Madame Bovary. We shot without any script, without any kind of uh, idea of what was going to happen, just the idea that there were four women coming away from the desert and then they would say goodbye, but we found the river there, we found the horses com coming 
to 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 drink to the river in the moment we found that, that those uh, stones one over the other and then we thought well that can be like the megaliths uh, in, in 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 Wales or something so it was shot like in the old days and I think the the whole thing it's goes for a progressive losing of control of the cinema like going trying to go to a more primitive cinema each time because the it's true that the second episode I, I agree with you the idea that was some kind of a, a very uh, I don't know like like controlled uh, one right it's uh, I, 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 I I thank for the Wagnerian uh, thing for the Wagnerian remark I, I but of course my belief is that the the picture could couldn't have been like that for longer right so uh, if you think for for example of, of, on the acting well of course uh, I had uh, uh, lots of, of, of admiration for for the four players and the the, 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 the in, in that moment in the moment of of of, of the second part, the, the part of the singers and everything, I would try them to to display all her possibilities, right? So that's why we have all these extremely long monologues and the singing and the changing from one emotion to the other in the same shot to being like happy and then uh, being crying and then from with one clapping of the hands being like pervert because of, well, all those virtuous system, I don't know if that, that such words exists. Well, so that was like the, the, the trying to prove all these uh, skills they had and take them to, I don't know, to the limit. So those, we, we, we reached there quite fast, you know, in the first two years, we reached to, a, to a, some kind of a gymnastic uh, thing so the rest we sh we could do is little by little going for a more uh, I don't know lose style for it's not me over them telling them what to do but I would prefer that th their side would grow you understand so we went to the to a less controlled thing so they were uh, trying uh, and not uh, the, the voice over cam so they don't have to act that much so they just they just have to be there just in front of the camera and the, and the narration would be done by them just with their faces and with their gestures not that uh, overcooked thing and then they would have to speak in French which they don't speak of course one not even one word and then Russian and then uh, the mute and well and it's a progressive losing of control over the thing like going into the wild you know in a way to the into the into 19th century so the, the, the other thing the, 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 the final is like just not knowing you, you, to, just to illustrate to, to use your word how was uh, the the last part done perhaps you don't know that it was done with an extremely primitive perhaps the most uh, the most primitive of all techniques of pre-cinema it's the camera oscura the the stenopaque thing so we were inside a a tent in the middle of the Sierra in the middle of the Cordoba hills in the middle of nowhere let's say and we had in this tent we were in the in a, a complete absolute dark and of course we did the hole and the hole would project the image inverted that's why at the end everything is inverted right so the point is that we were in the in the middle of a tent burning with heat uh, completely darkened seeing the image on the inverted and reflected in a in a leather cow's leather 
And this is the worst of, of all for, for someone who makes pictures, giving the back to the scene because it would project so the girls, girls were there and we was this way, pointing this way. So we wouldn't be able to say, go that way because we didn't know which day, which way was or so. It was completely l lethargic in a way. And we, we did not have control. That, like, it, it was like cinema doing the picture for itself. And well, we thought it was nice. All right, I have two questions. Um, go, go. Given, <laughs> all right. uh, given that go you're a director, you have to make decisions. So yeah. when and how and why did you make the decision to make a movie that long? And given that also you have to finance it, right? I mean, I think this is difficult. Uh, maybe you can tell us a bit about that. And the second question would be, uh, you said about part four, uh, it's difficult to describe. I mean, isn't this uh, part four basically about how to make films, given especially the ending is very cinematic, right? You have these four women in the wind, in the landscape, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is obviously the difference to what you were mentioning in the beginning, theater. I mean, this is something you can only do in a way ah, in film. It's a nice idea. I thank you for it. Well, the, the, the first question, when did I decide that, that I, I would do a 14-hour picture uh, when I saw that it would be 14 hours when I saw well well say well how how long is everything uh, 14 really well so be it that was the moment it's not that we thought well let's do a 14 hour thing no but we, it was no to be honest it was uh, 13 something and we had the credits and we said well wh what do we do with the credits now come on no credits ah. <laughs> they have been there let's let's put, make some good credit thing with the uh, inverted that was the moment where I decided to make a 14-hour picture so th that decision was to respect what we believed would be something worth seeing so it was not a conceptual thing, you know. It was not something that we decided to 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 make a record. I don't know. What uh, you see with big things, you don't have, you don't know uh, when the the decision was taken. You know, uh, I'm going to compare. The, the lady said that it was kind of megalomaniac, and uh, this this probably would uh, support this opinion. But because I'm, I'm not comparing. Really, I'm not comparing, I'm not comparing. But, uh, for example, the ones who build the pyramids. Now you see why I <laughs> warn <laughs> the, ones who, the, the guys who build the pyramids, well, <coughs> were they planning, let's do a very, very big pyramid? I don't know, I really don't know. Perhaps they did, well, they just put one stone and then the other and <laughs> the end was a very, very big pyramid. I don't know really. But the point is I, l I decided to let it uh, 14 hours. So uh, this is a decision. But it's not, it was not something pre-thought. Pre it was not something that well, we, we were not planning to, to get into the Guinness w w Book of Records or something like that. And the other question is about four. Um, if, if it's about making pictures. Well, it's the most about making pictures part of all, of course it is. Uh, but it's also about, uh, you know, there's a question that could uh, join the, 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 the two questions, uh, the yours and, and, and my Argentine lady too, which is why, why that image, why that decision, why? And, and I think the answer at the end is how do you manage to create new images? How do you allow images to exist? Because of course, it's not that you can go around shooting everything. You, images should have some kind of extra uh, 
vibration that comes from somewhere that is not themselves. That's what usually called script or s screenplay, right? Or, or structure. Images bec become more powerful when they are into some kind of system, right? So the point is to, in to, to invent excuses for those systems to, to exist. So of course I wanted to shoot spring. I wanted to shoot spring. I wanted to shoot the blossom of trees and the flowers. Uh, it was a point that I wanted to. So every trick that it's set there, the thing of the guy who wants to perform and the other ones who hate it was, was an excuse to go around shooting trees in blossom and, and, and trying to. So I, 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 I think that's the, the, the difference between cinema and literature too. So to, to support your idea is I think the whole, uh, at least the whole episode, but perhaps the whole picture, the whole film was an excuse for that 10 minute uh, sequence to exist. If not, if I would sh just shoot the four girls in nice, landscapes it would be shit if it's not perhaps you feel it is but if it's not if you were touched by those images that w we would call free images it's because of the rest it's because of the, 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 the other images have taken us there and would allow those images to be I, I, that's what I think, and that's what I think of, of, of cinema. So cinema, is, is, is in a way, is the art of giving images reasons for existing. Perhaps it's a little bit complicated, but well, come on, it's we are all a little bit tired, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, there's. Um, I, 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 it was a joke. Yeah, yeah. I, I go on. <laughs> but, but I think it's uh, um, time for one more question and. There it and is. The, the Thank you. <laughs> um, I wanted so, to. Listen, I, 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 as a <laughs> Not everyone gentleman here, what would be. Uh, wait, French, because he, he has a, a new one. My excuse. Uh, the many. of The planes, of course. The planes, of course. And, but the, the, or, the origin was, I thought, seeing the the. The, the Renoir picture that I knew some friends that could perform those characters. Can I just I, come back to something you said in the beginning? Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I was just finishing my, my. But I mean, there are a lot of questions in the room, and. But, but later, later. Go, go, go. What? Sorry? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry for go back, go back. Um, I just found it so intriguing what you said in the beginning about the difference between cinema and theater because right now we've been talking so much about um, the difference between literature and cinema. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to know what you actually found in theater that you think is missing in film at the moment or what you think film should be doing more. Is it about the acting or is it about cinematic techniques and theatrical techniques? What do you think it is? Yeah, at the beginning, I, th I thought it was the relationship between the the métier and the. Uh, I, I mean, the the for to be more direct that I mean to be the relationship with money, for example. When what I did not say when I was saying uh, when I was describing Buenos Aires theater was that. 80% of those plays I was recommending or I was worshipping were made by people who were not uh, earning one single peso for them. And that could be seen as something uh, sad, but in a way uh, it's not. And people would go from one, uh, the, peop the, 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 the actors would go from one play to the other and uh, from one rehearsal to the other without any uh, hope of, of gaining one single cent and they would uh, do 
things uh, they would uh, how would you say broom the, the 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 stage after the 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 play uh, with complete happiness so and and i'm not talking about the, the people who who's uh, starting right for example these four uh, companions of mine at the moment they are doing a quite successful play in buenos aires quite but still and they are living of it they are they are making a living of of, of theater right they are earning some money but still they would go and they would do many different plays that don't get them any money it's some kind of a of a joy of the task and that was what at the beginning i felt that in cinema was impossible because nobody would everybody would would find completely natural that many ta extremely talented people w would go and do s uh, things just for the pleasure and for the fun of doing it. But it was considered almost immoral for, for people to go and join or, or, or gather around a picture to, to without being a commercial thing. So that was the first thing that got me into some kind of surprise. But then there was uh, the the idea that that would exist that relationship with money would exist because of a relationship with the staff of the of the work itself they were the the the, the relationship with work was that that of a of a extreme pleasure of extreme intensity and everybody would do other thing uh, everything's thing and and the play was something of everyone's well it's it's from that from that side, and of course the beauty comes from that too. The, the 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 beauty does not come only from the mind, you know. It comes also from the way you do things, from the physical way you do things, and how do you get with your people and everything. So it's a long, but uh, it can be of some use. We got, we got our French friend here. La, 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 go go ahead. C'est une question bête, plutôt personnelle. Je veux les chiens, il s'appelle Kacha, je crois. Cacho. Cacho, oui. euh, dans l'épisode 4. Donc, et après, après l'épisode 6. Oui. Donc, je l'ai bien, bien aimé parce qu'il m'a suivi pendant toute la période. Pas toute, mais pendant la période 4. Donc, il était membre de l'équipage. C'est pas ironique. Et euh, depuis quand euh, il était là euh Donc c'est plutôt personnel. Ich übersetze kurz auf Deutsch. Ich habe diesen Hund gesehen und mich hat es immer wieder erstaunt, wie oft er in den ähm, Einstellungen auftauchte, ohne Kommentar. War mal irgendwie so ein Schirm falsch, wurde gleich das kommentiert. Bei Kacho nicht. Und wenn man nur ein Ohr gesehen hat. Und ich habe ihn lieb gewonnen, den Hund. Und er hat mich durch die vierte Episode geleitet. Und danach am Ende ist er nochmal aufgetaucht. Ist jetzt ein bisschen kitschig, aber die Frage ist wirklich ernsthaft. Gehört der Mitte also zu dem Filmteam? Oder und seit wann war der eigentlich dabei? Also, ja. Ich werde euch in Englisch antworten, weil... in Französisch. Nein, 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 nein. Aber es ist... Es ist dur. La question oh. que vous m'avez posée. Oh, excusez-moi. <laughs> well, he, he speaks about the dog, and, and, and well, he, it is it is a, a difficult thing because he, he was kind of, well, he was, yes, he was, let's say he was kind of a, a brother for me. I, I, I had two brothers not given by, by, the, the, by my father, but live. I, those brothers are in the picture, and well, this my, one is my, was my animal brother and uh, I have a mechanic brother you have seen those too right and the, the mechanic brother is blue and it has gone yeah it's gone I to, saw I saw it to, uh, over a tree it has done over 10 years I saw it and I, it's, it's not very blue after 10 years doing what I can and it says you know how how much is to paint uh, mm -hmm them bulb or our, our days well but with Cacho the thing was a little bit uh, difficult you know because he, we were extremely we were brothers the the, the word brothers is, is completely uh, 
but he na, na, now we're not that close. We we, we I, I would say that we broke up, and the reason is that he I didn't like what he did when uh, how did he react to the fact of uh, I having children. I think he re he reacted in a very mean. Uh, yes, okay, mm. I understand, but, but well, uh, come on. You can be jealous, but he was very jealous. He just, from one day to the other, he got very depressed, very deeply depressed. So he was, he's old too, but he started like, I don't know, you, you see when, when those old people just get, uh, we, we say, le, le cayeron 80 años encima. Well, so he got very, very old and indifferent, you know. Like indifferent, like no, no, not loving me anymore and being like nasty. Of course, not paying the least attention to the baby. Well, come on, I, I, I do have the right to to have to make to have my own family and to have my own life. Is don't don't I? So you, he has to understand. We had a magnificent life together, and he he would come with me everywhere, and I never leashed him in my entire life. Well, at the beginning, perhaps, and and, and we were we were, we had a, an, ext an extraordinary society, and then he would react like a nasty, selfish animal because I want to have a life of my own. Come on. I understand that he's not a person and he has this kind of simple synoptical thing. D'accord, je comprends. Come, très, come je suis très yeah. désolé. Well, et en même temps, yeah, en même yeah. temps c'est une histoire de Shakespeare. And he's a, he's a magnificent yeah. actor, of course. He's, yeah. I understand. Une histoire he's, de Shakespeare. He's magnificent, <laughs> magnificent. I love, but come on, grow no, up. Excusez-moi d'avoir posé la question, je ne savais pas. No, 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 don't, don't worry, but sorry, I, 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 I answer from the heart. Since you ask a personal question, I answer. Sorry about you, but that maybe you're not interested in this personal item. But, well, what do you think? Merci, quand même. Okay, so I don't know if this is a good ending, but uh, how do you how do you end uh, something like this? Um, maybe I, I'd like to thank you for coming, for taking the I, time. I'm, I'm just like... like uh, yeah, you, you, you shook up. Situation. Okay, then I'll, I'll bridge the time by thanking a uh, grand film because I think it's not like self-evident to bring such a film to regular German cinemas. Yeah, we, we, maybe maybe we, we can give an applause. Yeah, an applause to... Because uh, in, in the back there's Patrick Horn. He's one of the founders from Grand Film and it's not only La Flore but also no, yeah, many great movies coming... Um, to German cinema, so well. Thank you very much yeah. for your for your curiosity. To, we, we, you've been here one hour, one extra hour, so you are. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps you should live here. You should <laughs> make a community or something. You know, it's well. Thank you, friends. It's going to be quite difficult to forget this loyalty of yours. Thank you very much.